Is Chris is Chris with you or not with you? No, no, he's at work. So there, there's a bike we got, um, and we actually wanted to gift it to Chris. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. Um, for like all of his help and him being just like awesome and helping us out. Let's go. Let's go. All right guys, so here's what's going on. We purchased a motorcycle from, what, a military guy? Yeah. We purchased a motorcycle from this military guy, had a lot of military stickers on it. It's a really nice bike, he took good care of it. Chris, that was about a month ago. Oh, uh, we went and got it, we just had it to the shop, got it tuned up, we put a new rear tire on it, we got it all detailed, it's looking awesome. Now Chris, Chris has been this guy, and this is kind of a strange story, he just, he watches the channel, and he just started popping in every Saturday. He, the first Saturday he came in, he's like, hey, I just want to come in and just help you guys out. And we're like, okay. At this point, we didn't really know him at all. We had no clue who he was or what his angle was. And then he started just coming in every Saturday, pretty consistently, just helping him out, cleaning bikes, wiping stuff down, sleeping the floors. And, and through that, through like months and months of him doing this, we kind of, we got to know him a little bit better. And we're eating, you know, lunch with him. And this guy's got a family and used to work in the ministry and just, just ends up being a really, really cool guy. But when he first started coming, we had no idea what to do with him. You know what I mean? Because we, we weren't expecting someone to come and it was kind of a new thing. So he would come in and be like, oh shoot, Chris is here. What do we do? What, like, what do we, like, what should we get him to do? You know what I mean? Like, like okay, go, go pull some bikes out that he can clean or something like that. Now, and now it's a little easier and we just... We, we're getting to know him and he's a super cool guy. And and part of why he comes around is like, he's like, I just like being around motorcycles. I mean, he enjoys being around bikes and cleaning bikes. It's kind of like a, a therapy for him, you know? And then because we've got to know him, we'll he say, hey, Chris, go go take that bike. That bike needs ridden a little bit. Go take that bike for a spin. Okay, it even got to a point where one time, one time we're all hanging out and this might surprise a lot of you people. We don't just only talk about motorcycles. So I feel like everyone thinks that because we run a motorcycle dealership, we run a motorcycle YouTube channel, that all we do is think and talk and dream and stuff about motorcycles. But in actuality, it's not true. Chris was over here one time and we were just talking about cars. And he was so disappointed in us. He's like, I can't believe you guys are just only talking about cars when all I, lo all I love is motorcycles. And which sucks because we're not car enough for the car guys because we like motorcycles, and apparently now we're not motorcycle enough for the motorcycle guys. So, but he's a super cool guy. He actually, uh, you've seen him in a couple videos. So you guys seen him in the auction video, where we went and picked up bikes from the auction when we were bringing them back. You also saw him in, uh, in the CB300 video when we found out the engine was seized up. Uh, Caleb actually gave him a pop-up camper, so him and, his, cause him and his family loves camping. Caleb, what's your, uh, what's your impressions of our man, Chris? Yo, Chris is the man. He kinda just started coming and just like, doing a whole bunch of work that we actually really needed done. Yeah. Like it wasn't like, like, he offered services that actually really helped us out on Saturdays. And I'm pretty sure there's no way his plan was, no. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this and get a free bike. He kinda that, like, that's, that's not who he is. He actually, he actually might not want to accept it. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he is that he's type of guy. He's extremely humble. Yeah. He's that type of guy that's like, no, no guys, I can't do this. Yeah. And then we're gonna fight him. Okay, so here, here, here's the catch though. At some point in time, I'm gonna say, yo, that bike needs to run. Go take it for a spin. He'll, you know, I'll be like, give it a good half an hour ride. But then we cannot give him the motorcycle. Let me repeat this. <laughs> we cannot give him the motorcycle until each one of us gets him to say the word milkshake <laughs> on camera. If he doesn't say milkshake on camera, I'm sorry, Chris. You're walking home. He's gonna. What's gonna happen is he won't say it, and he's gonna go home and watch this video about how we almost gave away a bike. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be kicking himself. So, uh... Let's wait for him to show up and let's see how it goes. Oh, let me show you the bike. There she is. 2000 something Honda VTX 1300. It really is a nice bike. <laughs> All right, he's here. He's pulling up. All right, so he's here. Let's go spy on him. He's a monster with and without a beard. <laughs> but at least without a beard. I mean, with a beard, he's a bearded monster. Listen, I like have no idea are. what to expect when I saw him, and it's not nearly as bad as what I thought. I thought it was going to be really, like a really bad reveal. <laughs> like little kids running away type reveal, but it's not so bad. Oh, not no clearly, did, we're not here for the mustache. Oh, <laughs> the mustache is great. Yeah. No, that was bad. I did see the one video, and it was just that. I was like, please stop. Just please stop. <laughs> Yeah, that, that Yo, Caleb, Caleb, I got a killer idea for the food, for the food uh, segment of the Caleb Mayer YouTube channel. Is there a food segment? Yeah, you did it last time. Oh yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. I've, the been, I've been prepping. Food, the Yo, you ever been to you Sonic? The... You ever been to Sonic? 
Yeah. What do you like at Sonic? What do I like at Sonic? Yeah. Pretty much everything. All did you watch the what did you watch you, the video where it was like Harrison talks about food? What do you usually yeah. all right, all right, what do you usually what do you usually get to drink though? Soda. Soda? Yeah. You ever tried any of their other stuff? No. Really? Harrison, really? we all know what you love to drink at Sonic. <laughs> Chris, what do I like to drink at Sonic? That's completely unhealthy and has like eighteen hundred calories. We're doing a food thing. What is it? The uh, the milkshake or whatever? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the one with like all the pieces in it. Or I right, see that's how little bit I know. I don't I don't drink milkshakes and Harrison's, stuff like that. Big, I look like I drink big milkshake guy drink. over here. Huge milkshake guy. Yo, I got him to say milkshake. You did. I was the first one. Yo, Chris, what's that thing I like from Sonic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, real quick. There's a bike that we need to get ridden. Uh, where is it? I think it's this one. Yeah, this one's going to need to get ridden later. So you might want to just keep this one out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Somebody's coming to look at it? Yeah. Awesome. Great, bro. Yeah, dude. That bike's sweet. Yo. So I went over there and told him and he's like, he's like, oh, is somebody coming in to look at it? And I was like, yeah, someone's going to be looking at it later. Oh, cool. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. Ooh, ooh. Foreshadowing. Yeah, Yo, you better hurry up and go uh, right, yeah, get him to say milkshakes. All right. Good question. Why is the toilet paper so daggum soft? Yo, we get the softest toilet paper. I didn't know if I should... Roll up, maybe a pillow or sleep on it. Spare no expense on that toilet paper. When you go to the bathroom as much as I do. <laughs> Y'all, this looks nice. I was thinking about this crazy, uh, when I was a kid, I was like 20. I don't know why I was thinking about this. I was like 21 or something like that. It's in summertime. I'm just walking around, like, Manon Township, looking for an adventure at like 1 o'clock in the morning. I see this guy... He's changing his oil on the side of the road. He's got one of those Privia vans. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Toyota Privia vans. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Looks like a bubble. Yeah, and the um, and the engine's like underneath it. I didn't know that. I remember yeah, that. the engine's like underneath it. I think, like it, like be, like underneath the driver's seat, because yeah, it is like a bubble. And he was what he ended up doing was like his head gasket was blown. So he's so he's changing the oil, and what's coming out looks like uh, what's that stuff? What's that? What's that stuff you drink with the? milk chocolate milk no it was like white though oh it came out white i've seen it where it's like what's that stuff what's that milk? stuff it's like it's like ice cream and all mixed together that's a milkshake to me milkshake it was like a milkshake it was like a milkshake coming out of this thing yeah i've never seen anything like it where the milkshake was yeah, coming know. out of his rigging yeah. oil pan it was crazy that is crazy it was nuts i don't know why i was thinking about that but i was like while i was sweeping that's what i was thinking about you found a bike yet? I know you're talking about buying a bike soon. No, 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 no. I don't. It'll probably be spring, unfortunately. Why so long? Money, man. Money? Money? Yeah, Dang, maybe, man. Uh, that, like, me getting sick, man, it just put a Sobe on. You really? So I've got to be... got to do the right thing. It's up to you now. All right. I told a story. What is that? Look at this stuff. I was this stuff. that with that because they... they Oh my gosh, man! Mm, no. Yeah, because it mixes and it makes yeah. it frothy. Yeah, and I was like, it looks like that stuff, you know what I mean? Like with the milk. He's like, oh, milkshake. And I was like, yeah, that's it. So like, you got to figure out something else. That's exactly what I was going to do because that's what I can't happened. do it. That was that even a real story? Yeah. Oh. I was going to was gonna say that because that's what happens in like ex terrors and stuff. Do you need some help? No, I don't need help. Are you seriously <laughs> killing other uses for I just, milkshakes? I just need some. Let's see if I can just get like some. I just need some inspiration. Oh. Should I be like, oh, my favorite, was, my favorite artist? I was going to try, I was going to use that. I was going to be like, yo, what's that song? Like, the girl that brings all the boys in the yard. <laughs> so now you're just looking at pictures of milkshakes? Oh, no, I'm just... Yo, real talk, though. We try to get some milkshakes? I don't think that kind of connects with the, with, the, with the thing we got going on. Just going to get some B-roll. We were at a football game last night. They sell Chick-fil-A. Bro, I'm not going to lie. That is one thing. Being vegan, it's the hardest thing to go without, man. A Chick-fil-A sandwich is like, there's only a couple things you miss, you know? Yeah. But like, Chick-fil-A sandwiches is definitely one of them. 
Well, they aren't going vegan anytime soon. I know. Well, they have no vegan options either. Because I used to go there. Um... It's not biblical. <laughs> it's not. Yo, actually, we had a, we had a sermon yeah. at church. And they were talking about uh, Daniel, you know, yeah. when he was the, he's like the OG vegan, right? Was he vegan or just vegetarian? No, he was vegan. Just only vegetables, no meat. And, oh, well, maybe. I couldn't remember if he did milk and stuff. You know, that, that is one, that's a hard one. I don't know if he, did they have milk back then? I don't know why they wouldn't have had milk. That's like a dumb thing to ask, I guess. They definitely would have milk. Veganism. You think they ate, uh... But the milk would have been non-pasteurized, obviously. Would have been a lot better for you. You think they made like like ice cream and stuff? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Amish way. Like a little, like a little uh, milk beverage, you know? You're messing up my line. Oh, am I really? Oh, you know, what? I'm gonna let you do this. I'm gonna yeah, let you do this. Not there. It's fine. But yeah, bro, that that's probably the hardest thing. Chick fil A. Chick fil A, and um, you ever had their um, you ever had their the the strawberry. Um, Oh my gosh. Harrison was just talking about it this morning. Milkshake? Yeah. Dude. Are you guys? Freaking strawberry milkshake at Chick-fil-A is the hardest thing to not eat. Is this like a game? What? Sean just couldn't remember the word milkshake either like three minutes ago. He's like, this is crazy. Harrison couldn't remember that word this morning. And Sean couldn't remember that word. <laughs> He's like, you ever seen Super Trooper? <laughs> Do we have to like throw them off and now? A milkshake. Yeah, like, I, 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 one of us will say milkshake and they're like, yes, that's what I've been thinking. I'm gonna call it a milk smoothie. <laughs> an ice cream smoothie. Dude, you know I want so freaking bad right now. An ice cream smoothie. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like a milkshake, but it's a smoothie. <laughs> How was it? How was it? The road off. Really? No issues? No, no issues at all. Ride's good? So, yeah, that's good. Yo, you mind signing this thing for us? Yeah, we just have a liability thing we need to sign. Right there. For a liability thing? Yeah. What is yeah. No. What is that? It's a... This no. Is a, can you sign it though? Dude, just sign it for me, please. No, get out. Get out of freaking... Are you serious? Just, it's a liability yeah, thing. Yeah, we just need you to sign it. No, you guys are sign, sign, sign right here. For me, right there, just sign right there. <laughs> you gotta do oh, it, man. You want to do it? Heck yeah, I want to do it. But <laughs> you guys are crazy, really. <laughs> that no, bike, that bike, right one there. Here? That yeah, one right there. It's yours, man. Oh shoot, I'm giving y'all hugs, man. This is freaking <laughs> awesome. I love this bike. Get out of here. Thank you so much. Gosh. Heck yeah. Oh shoot, this thing rides perfect, man. You got it all I was just up. talking about this bike with you this week. <laughs> got a brand new back tire on it. It's all ready to go. Fresh inspection. Got a detail. Shoot, I even tried to hide this thing in the back corner earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this thing ran perfect. We'll cover um, tags, title transfer, everything. Oh, shoot. Thank you so much, guys. Gosh. <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. You're welcome, man. Oh, shoot. I know what I'm riding to work all week. <laughs> <laughs> You want to put it in this old pile? What? You want to put it in this Heck old yeah, pile? Heck yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I know where they are. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I was having so much fun with this thing. I even skidded the yeah, footboard so one time. The one that was it for the for the video. Yeah. Was we all we all before we could sell you this bike had to get you to guess the word milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> was it really? That's why, we, that's why we all remember we were all talking. I was you, like, this has got to be a job. I even told you. It's like, dude. But thanks for your help, man. Yeah, dude. Dude, no, it's my pleasure. Like I told you, it's like therapy for me, man. I love well, it. Now you got a bike. Oh, shake it. The only thing that got me, I was like, he's like, no, you need to be gone for 20 to 30 <laughs> minutes. And I'm like, he's never said that to me before. <laughs> I was like, somebody really important must be getting this bike. Well, Chris, you got your bike. We are super pumped. We love having you around. Be safe. Just want to let everyone know this this is not a thing. Don't come. I don't want 20 other people coming tomorrow trying to sweep up and try to get free bikes. You never know how we're going to do it next. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and check out this next video we got going on right here. We will see you guys later.